The one question I'm getting asked all the time is what is the best weight loss program? And this is today what I want to share with you. I want to compare some of the most popular uh, diets at the moment out there and give you a background. What are the benefits? What are the drawbacks? And of course, give you my personal recommendation. Let's get started. So many years ago, I was actually doing a cabbage diet all the time, cabbage soup diet, shall I say. Um, cabbage soup diet was like popular, I think somewhere in the 80s or 90s or so. And I asked friends, what's the best way of losing weight? And they recommended it. And I did it often uh, over years. And usually what would happen, I um, struggle hard to stick to it, right? I did it for a week or so. Um, I really uh, developed headaches and I lost a few pounds only to go back to my usual way of eating and putting back on the pounds. And that ha happened over years and years. So um, now I became a master certified transformational nutrition coach through my own health challenges and how I overcame them by actually finding the right way of eating for me and uh, developing a lifestyle and eating lifestyle that I really could keep forever. And when I developed that, basically, that's when I realized, okay, when I do that, you know, my health is better, my weight is better, um, why not help others? And that is actually how I developed my business. Now, when I learned, uh, you know, when I studied uh, to become a Master Certified Transformational Nutrition Coach, I went actually through um, one of the modules I remember. It was 150 diets that we studied. Yes, 150. And I know there are many more than that actually, but there were at the time the 150 most important. And I did recently actually, I went into that document just to check it out. And I picked the most important um, that currently I hear and currently most of the people who come to see me actually ask me about. So usually it goes like, you know, somebody comes to see me, they are trying to lose weight, they've been trying to lose weight their whole life, they do the typical yo-yo dieting, and they tell me, oh, I did this diet and that diet and that diet, and here I am basically. And I say, look, let me give you a feedback. And that's what I'm going to do today to you. So first on the list is, and there's no particular order and there are plenty of other diets. I just picked those because they come up the most. One I really hear often is the Atkins diet, right? Now the Atkins diet was somewhere in the seventies by um, Robert Atkins, um, who was a cardiologist and is maybe still. And it was basically really a restriction of carbohydrates and focusing on protein and fats. Now, while I do recommend actually, um, you know, lowering your carbs and uh, eating a lot of protein and fats, uh, this diet unfortunately is really very restrictive and it goes over several phases actually. And the restriction of carbohydrates helps indeed uh, to, um, you know, balance your blood sugar a little bit better. It um, claims that you know it helps you to prevent serious health conditions uh, as well, and um, so. But the drawbacks of it is that uh, in this diet, first of all, uh, one thing it is very restrictive, and it also uses very high levels of fat and protein, um, and it's actually a too much, right? So it can actually lead to nutritional deficiencies to over, um, overall too much fat and protein actually. But also what the diet doesn't have is enough fiber and the fiber is really what's important in there. So drastically cutting carbs can actually lead to various health concerns as well. And moreover, it's actually not working because a restrictive way of dieting is not working in the long term. So while you might lose weight in the short term, it is not something I would recommend in the long term and that's often why it people fail with us. Now, the next one is the cabbage soup diet, right? And I just want to share it. So basically the cabbage soup diet is over a short time, usually uh, one week to 10 days, where you eat only cabbage soup, um, which is really great um, and, and nice and all that. Um, you lose usually a one to two pounds uh, per week or so, and it's really strict, obviously, following this. Now, the benefit is that you lose uh, weight really fast and you can you know, eat as much as you want of that soup. Um, and uh, 
might be a good kickstart, but the drawback, of course, is it's something you cannot sustain, right? So while you might lose some weight in the short term, but because it's so one-sided and lacks very, very important nutrients like protein, fats, and um, you know some other carbohydrates as well, it's really something you cannot do in the long term. It's unhealthy, it's uh, too strict as well. And that's why often when you go back to your normal way of eating, you put on the weight. Um, now the and of course it's you know far too low in calories as well and then let's get to the next diet which is the juice fasting diet now i hear often of juice fast um, and uh, there can be different types of juice fast so i'm i'm just going on that one so basically it's really a diet that consists on consuming fruit and vegetable juices only over a time right um, the benefits, of course, you get a lot of nutrients. That's really, really great. Um, and you can lose weight quite quickly, but there are a lot of drawbacks. While um, you get all these nutrients, the one thing that you don't get is one fiber. Um, you get too much sugar um, because all this concentrated form of sugar from the fruit and even the vegetable without the fiber is like really, it's, it's poison uh, for you almost. And uh, also what's really important is that you don't get any other nutrients like, you know, protein and fat or almost none. And uh, this is, of course, very or can be very dangerous uh, in terms of your balance. And again, like I discussed earlier is you might lose some weight, but then when you go back to eating normally, usually you put the weight back on. Um, it might be maybe a short, good idea um, to do that in a short term, like for one or two days just to cleanse your body. I would always recommend a little bit more to do actually a um, smoothie, right? Um, now, I have another one. That's the low-fat diet. And low-fat diets, of course, was uh, very, very popular also in the 70s, 80s and so on, where basically um, you would use either no-fat or only low-fat products. Um, so it cuts, of course, the, the calorie uh, intake a lot and it's usually quite easy to track in terms of the benefits. But the drawback uh, of it is that usually low fat is similar to, by the way, like low sugar, is usually they're very highly processed because they're replacing the missing fat, um, which adds normally to the taste with sugar or other additives. And that it, then it can become very, very unhealthy, actually. And also fat is actually important for the body, right? Fat is important for the assimilation of vitamins. It's, it's important, you know, for um, your, your whole body to work properly, the digestion, your brain needs fat, right? All this. So again, a low fat diet is something I definitely do not recommend. Um, rather have high fats, but make them healthy fats, right? So reduce the, um, the unhealthy fats, um, like, you know, processed fats, um, trans fats, and so on, but uh, stick rather to healthy fats, and then it's much better. Another one I hear all the time is Weight Watchers. A lot of people follow Weight Watchers. Um, now, Weight Watchers, uh, they use kind of a point system. It's definitely a very um, well-known um, weight loss program, I must say. Um, a, you know, a lot of people use it actually, and it's normally you can eat what you want and you have to stick to a certain amount of points. Um, now, the thing with Weight Watchers is uh, the advantage is no foods are forbidden. It's pretty slow and steady normally, and usually you can expect some uh, weight loss. However, what I have noticed and all the people, people who come and see me, is actually that um, they cannot stick to it, right? And in fact, 95% of people uh, who done uh, Weight Watchers are not successful, meaning only around 5% are successful in the long term. And that again is um, also other drawbacks. You know, the group is maybe not for everybody and you know, you have to do a lot of work there and um, sometimes the progress can be slow. So, you know, it's maybe discouraging. There's not really a set diet. So some people struggle actually to follow. And also the problem with Weight Watchers is you, because you can eat anything, you might still continue eating your unhealthy food like processed foods or so and that leads to a lot of um, empty calories and you know 
um, that you're not getting the nutrients you need so your body still continues being unhealthy if you are unhealthy of course which um, prevents you actually from losing the weight so it's more important actually to get to a stage where you get healthy and then you can uh, lose the weight right the next uh, diet on um, here I want to discuss is ketogenic and I need to drink some water which by the way is very important for all the diets you're having um, no matter what if you want to be successful with any weight loss program water is your friend now ketogenic uh, diet is a more recent approach or rather it has been there around but it's quite fashionable in in the recent time similar maybe to paleo diets or so and basically it promotes ketosis which is a metabolic state um, where the body produces higher than average amounts of ketone bodies um, and this normally he, uh, the body uses the fat instead of the carbohydrates as fuel and that can indeed lead to a weight loss and uh, you know as you know it's uh, controlled you know ketosis is controlled by insulin and the blood glucose and so on so often it uh, you know the the body can react in a positive way so it you can indeed you know it eliminates excess sugar it eliminates actually processed carbohydrates intake uh, it normally is more uh, you know eating whole foods as well it decreases your blood sugar levels or to keep them rather stable and it makes you also feel uh, full for longer now the drawback but drawbacks of the ketogenic diet is actually that it decreases often the fiber a lot and also some of the important vitamins and minerals um, it can uh, promote an acidic uh, internal environment as well and that can be um, you know not helpful the energy levels might fall a lot of people I hear you know but they struggle because they're missing carbohydrates with the energy uh, levels we need you know we need a balanced uh, way of eating so we need protein carbohydrates um, and fat of course um, in, a, in a good way and again we are all different right and uh, also it's a it's a very unhealthy way in the long term to eat like this I personally recommend the ketogenic diet only to very few people for example um, it might be helpful for those with epilepsy um, but in general a ketogenic diet is not a long-term approach that I recommend because it's not a balanced approach and it can be then harmful uh, for for many people actually and then the last uh, one I want to share with you is actually um, the wellness methods healthy habits for weight loss program that's my own program which I want to throw in here because basically having studied you know all these 150 or more diets those um, you know I, sh I shared with you having worked with many many hundreds and hundreds of clients over many years is that I really realized the dieting approach does not work right so for me what is far more important is to develop more a lifestyle approach instead of a diet approach and my um, healthy habits for weight loss program is actually based on my food freedom formula which is you know the way I'm working with my clients which basically um, helps you to address the root causes of your weight or health issues far more than just you know prescribing a diet it's a personalized and holistic approach more to mindful eating you know becoming aware of how your body is implementing really lifestyle um, habits that are healthy for you mindset changes as well because you know just following a diet and having those limiting beliefs the self-sabotage and so on is of course what often prevents people from being successful as well and also you know looking at things of why do I have cravings right a lot of people know they should be eating healthy and they still have cravings so we're looking to address all these and be able you know to embrace really a new lifestyle and not feel restricted so you can keep it for the rest of your life so the benefits uh, of it is really that it meets you where you're at um, it helps you to diminish cravings and is a balanced way of eating that really nourishes your body mind and soul as well um, it addresses the root causes of you know your health and weight issues and also incorporates a healthy lifestyle things like stress management um, sleep for example you know it supports really your health journey more than just uh, giving you um, you know a diet or a meal plan and also added coaching is um, an accountability is really helpful you know to help you stay on track and uh, overcome any self-sabotage 
The drawbacks are is that you're encouraged uh, to include whole foods, uh, so it might be challenging at first. However, remember it starts where you're at, so it step by step brings you into eating a more healthier way. And there are lots of ways actually included, like even if you eat in the restaurant or you know if you travel or um, order takeouts or whatever. You need to be committed, right? In the end, I always say you can't, I can't eat for you. Um, it's really a fully transformational program. So it's a little bit a longer approach, but it helps you really to stay on track, right? Because you really change your mindset, you implement those healthy habits and you sort out the root causes. And the other drawback is that your friends are gonna be jealous of your results and you might have an overflow of energy for the rest of your life. That's me, by the way. So I shared with you here my um, some feedback on uh, the uh, weight loss diets uh, or what are the best weight loss, uh, what is the best weight loss program. I hope you enjoyed that. As usual, please, if you like it, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, share it with your friends. And in the description, you find more information to either some other videos or also um, to the blog post where you can kind of get again the, the overview of all those diets, you know, what they are. And of course, also you can uh, sign up for one um, for my healthy habits program for weight loss. And you can, of course, also sign up for a little uh, call or con consultation with me should you want to find out more what works for you, which weight loss approach works for you. We are all different and I pride myself really finding the personalized way that works for you.